The garage is hot, but it's time to stain some boards. We're gonna get going on some pretty cool navy themed designs. Uh, stole this idea from my buddies over at Fish Brothers Cornhole, so follow their page. I'll put a link down at the bottom. Uh, let me show you what I'm working with here. We're gonna do some navy theme boards that have uh, general finishes gel stain, of course, because they're the best thing ever. And they're gonna have some really cool vintage anchors in the middle. And then in the corners, they'll have these nice little nautical highlights in there. And then around the hole, we gotta have our whole accent. So let me show you these designs real quick. All right, so this is the vinyl that I cut. You can see these are some really cool vintage anchors. Gonna be the main theme of the board. Those are gonna be stained with the General Finishes Java stain. Every corner is gonna get one of these cool nautical knots in the corners like, like so. Those will also be Java. And then around the hole, we gotta give somebody something to shoot at. So that's gonna circle the hole, United States Navy. So here's the idea, we're gonna use the poly over technique. So after we stain these Java, then we're going to spray them down with the Varathane water-based polyurethane and let that dry just for a couple minutes. The idea is that you lock in the gel stain so you can stain right over it. You don't even have to mess with it. It doesn't, doesn't smear, nothing like that. You don't have to wait two days for it to dry. So we're gonna spray that down. Then we're gonna pull the mask from the back so that we can stain the whole board with the mahogany color, give us some nice contrast there. We're gonna leave all of the little masking here inside of the anchor, inside of the rope. That's gonna stay the natural Baltic perch. So it'll give it some really nice pop. This is the Baltic birch that we like to use for some bright colored boards. You can see the Baltic is beautiful. Three quarter inches, so it's super heavy. Uh, no voids, great stuff. I'll put it on high speed. Here we go. All right, so at this point, we're gonna weed our first stencil. So you can see we're pulling all the pieces that we're going to stain with the General Finishes Java finish and leaving all the center parts that'll be highlighted with the natural wood. Okay, when you're done weeding your first stencil, next up we're gonna take our transfer tape and we're gonna roll that out and press it down as clean as we can so that we can move the stencil over to our work surface. I like to use just this scrap piece of plexiglass, works well to press that down. And then come back with a squeegee and press out any bubbles that you've got. Just remember, all the transfer tape's gonna wind up in the trash, so this part doesn't have to be pretty. Just try and lay that down as smooth as you possibly can. So now we're ready to place the center stencil, the big anchor, on the first board. So you wanna center that up as best you can. Uh-oh, camera's falling. Crash. <laughs> and then you can use this hinge technique with a couple pieces of tape. So now that we have our stencils in place, we are ready to get messy 
and grab your stain. We're going to use General Finish's Java here first. And you want to apply that pretty sparingly, wiping most of the stain off. Uh, I just use the open space as a little palette, and then you can apply it pretty thin. Uh, if you see any spots that look a little too thin, then you can just come back and add a little bit more, but you don't want it to be blotchy, so don't allow any buildup. That also causes it to bleed a lot more. Okay, now we're going to use our flashlight technique, shining up from underneath, to center up the whole accent. Pull off the transfer paper on that guy. This one had a little uh, rope design on the center that I didn't use, so I just covered that up with the blue tape and then stained it. Okay, so now we're ready to cover up as much of the bare wood as you can. We're about to spray some water-based poly on here just to seal up that stain so we can come back and do the background color. This is going to be a huge time saver. If you aren't spraying it, you've got to let that gel stain sit for a day or two to make sure it doesn't smear. Decided to go with the prairie wheat on this one. It's a better contrast than uh, mahogany. Both look great, but I like this contrast, so I went with the prairie wheat on the background here. Now it's the best time of all to come back with your X-Acto knife and remove all of the remaining stencil, revealing the natural wood color underneath. And it really pops out, you can see here. Now don't forget, in the links down below, you can also find uh, Amazon links for your shopping list to these different gels, the vinyl, the transfer tape, all that good stuff is in the links down below. That also helps us, keeps us going. So please use the links down below. You know these two fellas over here? That's Hunter, Burley Bags. That's me, Scott, Mossboards. And we're trying to change things up a little bit. So we made a Facebook group, go find us at Cornhole Collective, and we wanna hear from you. What projects are you working on? Do you have any questions? What great ideas do you have or techniques do you think we could use? So find us on Facebook and we'll keep the conversation going. Thanks everyone, hope you have a great day.